Hi guys. I am very tired. Uh, I got bed head. But I gotta do an upload a day. My cat wants to come chill. Come here, people. Come on. Uh, so I'm actually not gonna play today. Today's gonna be a pretty short episode. Um, we are gonna look over a game from yesterday. Uh, we're gonna look over a game from yesterday uh, where I play NZAP versus Ghost and lose. Um, just because I have some faith in Zap, and I want to go back and look at some of the stuff that I did with it versus people that are better than me, to see if I'm onto something. Here you go, baby. Here, I put a plastic bag on your bed so that you'll have something to entertain yourself with. Yeah? You like it? Make lots of noise for the stream. Alright, so, um... Uh, let's just real quick uh, go. Oh, by the way, um, my speed ladders today, and you should join it if you're watching live, which you're not, because I'm pretty sure I have zero viewers right now. And um, if you are, grab people and join. Just go to Academy. Uh, but yeah, so uh, smash.gg/academy. Inc. I N K A D E M Y. Um, so yeah, so here's the, uh, here, here's the build that I use. So let me just explain this real quick. So as I'm about to show you, um, run speed and ink resist with this weapon right now, I think is really strong. Um, it does something unique compared to all the other weapons. And then obviously you want special charge because you want to get a lot of armors and I'm wearing stealth jumps so that I can get back in pretty consistently and paint up and be good at the game. Now, NZAP is not very favored in the current meta. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of range. Um, it can't really do that much outside of its like immediate bubble. Um, there are just there are, there are better armor weapons out there, uh, less gear dependent armor weapons, etc. And like shooters really aren't in the best spot anyway. Um, but the reason that I think this actually has a niche use is because of some of the movement stuff I'm about to show. So let's just real quick go into the firing range. And if you if you follow me on Twitter, you've seen this already. But um, a couple patches ago now, is my cat gonna take out my webcam? Is my cat gonna take out my webcam? Oh, I'm moving around. Uh. All right, kitty. Good girl. All right, so. Um, if you've paid attention to my Twitter, you've seen this already, but a couple patches ago the NZAP um, got a buff where it paints its feet more. Um, so as you shoot, it will drop inklets like right at your feet. Uh, more? Inklets, whatever that's the word. Um, so just real quick, just to show you. As you walk sideways and hold the trigger, the weapon paints your feet. And as we can see, this is about three mains of run speed. This is pretty much an unbroken an unbroken line of ink. We have like right here at the end, this part's a little bit not painted that well. Um, and maybe like here is not perfect, but if you're moving and shooting, you are, you're gonna have paint under your feet all the time. Um, and then of course, oh, there goes my webcam. All right, cat. Let's, tss, tss. come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh dear, all right, let's fix it. She did take out the webcam. All right, so yeah, so like when you're when you're in, in a fight, um, especially if you're moving forward with this thing, you basically, I mean, I, I mean, you can't really see it anymore because I'm paint I've painted so thoroughly, but this is going to basically allow you unlimited run speed movement into enemy ink, and. There's nothing the enemy can really do about it except for just outright kill you, which means that in one on ones you have this ability to, uh, to, 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 you know, abuse your run speed, move back and forth, um, and just like get up in people's faces and use like your, your, your superior movement and stuff to, to be better in a one on one. And, um, I guess like if you're a little bit newer, um, in shooters in general, your movement to dodge the other person's aim. Uh, and vice versa is like just like a big part of shooters. Um, movement is like everything. Um, so any kind of any any kind of thing that lets you 
move while in combat in ways that uh, that give your opponents a hard time hitting you or make them have to put in some kind of prediction as to where you're going to go. Those things are all valuable. And just the fact that the NZEP has one of those, um, where it can kind of go into enemy ink and uh, be really aggressive and keep moving and keep avoiding like your aim and stuff like that, I think that that kind of stuff is worth thinking about. Um, and the effectiveness of it, with now where you paint your feet so much and you can you can move and shoot at the same time. Hey, what's going on? Good morning, guys. Um, the, the effectiveness of that where you can you can move and shoot with the NZAP, it just it makes me think that it should be viable. Um, so yeah, I'm going to switch over to the replay. Um, for those of you tuning in, tuning in now, um, I'm tired as hell, and we are going to watch um, a replay of me yesterday losing the ghost, but using NZAP. Um, and I just, uh, I, I wanna, I wanna take a closer look at how it fares when I'm actually fighting, um, them in one-on-ones. Uh, I'm gonna critique my play a little bit, because I can't avoid that. Um, I wasn't, like, playing particularly well, but I, I, I still wanna, I still wanna get a little bit critical about how the, the, the this run speed increases ends that build actually, like, deals with enemy ink and how it fights these guys and it's going to be a short episode it's just it's one game um we're going to pause and rewatch some stuff and talk about it a little bit um but it's going to be a short episode normal because i have the uh the speed ladder stuff to do um which you guys should join and yeah so we're just going to start watching that's a florida right there by the way So we fought Ghost in this game type in pools and lost. Um, I had gone mini. Uh, we had a we had a hard time. Um, they kind of kicked their asses. This went better. We a lot of times they're on the left side. We still lose. I'll turn it down a little bit just because of the voices. Uh, we still lose, but we do a lot better this time. All right, so I go for an early armor. Someone gets taken out. I got two. There's one in there. He's near tower. My armor does help us get a double. Uh, they start pushing tower right now. There's two on tower. I just start pinning this, there's a shooter, and he goes up to my teammate and I get the kill. So that doesn't really show much about any of the stuff I was talking about. So far this is all kind of, uh, this is all kind of everybody playing the roles. I know Soren takes me out with a bomb here. Yeah, he wasn't able to shoot me at all, which is a plus. Um, oh, that's, that's volume. We need to get want to, uh, go back and look at that real quick. So he sees me. Oh, I'm gonna die. Okay, so he didn't even try to shoot. And there was someone else shooting at me at the same time. Um, but you can see how, like, as soon as I thought that he would be shooting at me... Um, I forget how to do, like, slow motion stuff. But you can see, as soon as he tries to, um... I hope there's a hotkey for that. As soon as he, as I think that he'll be shooting at me, I change my direction. That sounds weird. So I hit him. Oh man, that's three bullets in. If I had just gotten this shot here, it would have been good. He actually does predict my movement pretty well with that bomb. But uh, again, the point that I wanted to make was that as soon as I think that he's going to start shooting me, I'm moving right, as soon as... You know, he oh, pops out of ink, I start yeah. moving left. It's just that uh, he he threw the bomb. I don't even know if that was like a, a, a prediction on my movement in like a one-on-one -on -one sense. I, but I really think that was more along the lines of like covering his bases. Nice bomb, sorry. Um, where it's like, you know, that yeah, ends up uh, right, is near the that? corner. Yeah, Let's throw a bomb at the down. corner down. in case he tries to to move back. Kind of thing. So we'll see. I'm going to raid their snipe when we get checkpoint. Alright, so right now... Bombs up some uh, some you know some calls get made you know push I get my special the ray's gonna come out soon so I ray because there's gonna be a ray battle uh, soldier gets taken out here I my, my teammates are getting taken out so I do back up one more on the on the ramp which maybe I didn't have to but I think that I did play this right so here's this fight with Urza all right and there we go so there, there's some movement so let's let's watch this so he starts shooting at me he tries to swim strafe and I just run I don't even I don't even go into the ink after that first dip. So let's watch this one in slow motion. 
And this is the kind of stuff that I want to start paying attention to. Like, okay, when is the run speed doing stuff? When is the the ink resist the, the, the feet the, the pain on her feet abuse yeah. starting to come into? God, I need to turn this down. It's annoying. Yeah. So that the okay, so I start shooting me, and I'm moving left. Then I just start moving right, and yeah, I just move right into enemy ink, and I don't care. And then I start moving to the side again. So that was kind of a, a back and forth straight. Oh, okay, so it's. The keys are slower for for maneuvering. In this now, I did I did have him by surprise, and his jump does work against me, so he does have movement options yeah. with a little bit of ink, even though he's not doing the kind of thing that I do. But I don't think he actually hits me. I take some damage. He might get me once, or it might be ink under my feet. I can't tell. But, um, I think that that was a point in our camp. Hey, what's going on, Midnight? I think that was a point in our camp of, uh, if we want to believe that the NZF was a good idea. Yeah, and I got killed by the torpedo. So, yeah, I, did, I didn't get killed. I think Urza might have hit me once, and then the torpedo finished me off. So, that was, that was, I was able to trade in a, in a 2v1, or a 1v2. Um, and just because it's someone who's... Or like Urza, who's who's better than me. Me being able to just straight up beat him in a one on one is good. And I don't know how many clean one on ones I actually get in in this fight. What I should also be doing is I should be counting uh, armors, right? I should be kind of saying, okay, well, how many armors do I get compared to Sendal and stuff like that? Because right now in the meta, the reason not to use Enzat is because things like Kunder exist. So if I can match him with armors, uh, we're in. We're in good, a good spot. Now, right now, I'm trying to get armor. I go up and assist this kill. Uh, probably wasn't needed. Oh, there's another, there's another kill. So let's go back. I don't think that this was really a clean one-on-one. -on -one. This person was threatened by multiple people. Um, yes, yeah, so let's. I don't even think that the run speed came into play there. It didn't look like it, but let's go back and. Uh, this is Urza again, and I yeah, he goes to throw a grenade. What even happens before that? I don't know if he's shooting at me or not. I was just moving to the side. That had nothing really to do with the run speed. Although you can see that I'm just walking into enemy ink right now. I'm not taking any damage. I took I, I took like a point of damage. You can see like down the corner. But like I just I don't like have to care about enemy ink here. I just walk right into it. It paints under my feet and I'm able to swim away from the grenade. So that's pretty good. I think that that is uh, sent out LDE. Yeah. I need to, sorry, I need to bring up chat midnight because you're getting cut off because my interface that I'm using right now is stupid, so let's fix that real quick. Um, what did you say? You said you match it with armor, but I could also throw up bombs. Yeah, that's true. I can I can hit his, uh, his shield and stuff like that, which is something that he, um, he definitely has to worry about as Umbrella. Um, I mean, that, that recent buff, hello baby girl, that recent buff to suction bombs doesn't even matter in this case. Oh, it's still in slow motion. Alright, so let's keep going. Let's keep going. Um, so, so far, the two, the, the altercations that we've been in have seemed to suggest that the build's doing what it's supposed to, and that's, that, that's honestly, um, let's see you guys. So that's a big problem you use charger slashes and splatlings and clashes and brushes. Yeah, I think that Zap and Mini do really well against weapons that fire one shot at a time and get punished a lot for missing. Um, because that, 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 that tricky movement and the run speed and all that stuff just mixed in with normal combat, um, it's it just really increases your likelihood of missing. It's so much easier for the person uh, for the end zap to to dodge and all that kind of stuff during those situations than it is for that person to hit their shots consistently. Especially uh, with the run speed where, like, you're fighting, like, a slash or umbrella, you can just hold back and move backwards, especially how much the NZAP paints its own feet. Even if the, 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 the umbrella, like, gets some, some paint under your feet, it immediately just gets erased and you keep moving backwards. You midline your chargers? Well, hopefully, uh... Hopefully, uh... You, well, if you're playing Squiffer, then that makes sense, but if you're... 
if you're playing a regular charger. Yeah, God bless. Alright. So, here, so there's another. I think I died to Urza here. So I catch Soren. I go for a kind of a desperate thing. And I die to Urza there, and I know I'm going to. I know there's a teammate nearby, and I know that Urza's chasing a teammate. So, um, in my mind, uh, my decision making is okay, so I'm going to go for um, the risky play here and just run straight at him and hold the trigger. Um, I'm going to need to hit him perfectly. Urza is a good player. I know that he's going to land his three shots. Um, is the black hoodie hacked? I hacked. Um, I know that he's going to land his three shots. I know that I have a high chance of dying. But if Urza decides to chase, I should be able to get the revenge kill. If I die, someone should be able to get the revenge kill on him. I, I remember this I remember this play specifically because I, I made the decision to do something risky ahead of time. Um so this wasn't like a uh this wasn't like a oh the you know like your end zap didn't work in this case. It was like no I went for the I went for the play where I was likely to die because all the outcomes seemed good to me. Uh, so let's real quick. That, that's not what I want. Let's real quick uh, put it in slow mo, and let's see what happens. So Soren jumps down, I, and I can't tell if Soren is going to be going after someone else or me. So I pop the armor behind the corner. He sees the armor pop, and he backs up a little bit. I start painting, and I push forward aggressively because I know I can. So he starts to go to the right. I try to shoot at him. This booyah bomb uh, just actually kind of blinds me. Although I go after him anyway because I have the armor. I know that he's there. I'm just shooting it where I think he is. My teammate gets taken out here. Oh, so maybe he wasn't actually chasing my teammate. No, he was chasing my teammate. So here's that little bit of movement right here. So again, purple ink everywhere. I just start moving to the left. Um, I don't actually get the kill here. But you can see how like I just suddenly start changing position. I'm pushing away from Urza. He can't shoot me. Um, and right now... I know that someone's to my left, and I know that Carl's respond. Uh, either I forget at the time I knew, like I just knew where he was. Like I knew that he was, um, he was gonna be able to help me out. So right here, I push up, and my plan is to just. I should have had my aim ready ahead of time. That that was a misplay by me. I should have, I should have swam backwards up here so that I could start shooting at him ahead of time. I waited until I got around the corner to turn, but it, I was just being aggressive here. Um, so this kill. Or as I should have gotten this. Oh, he, got me, he, got he got me. Um. But yeah. Again, I think that. Um, I think that everything that I want it to do is happening. Right here, I know the armored. I'm just trying not to die. My teammate gets a pick. That's the second time this, hap this has happened so far, where uh, it looked like everybody was going to die, and my decision making told me, uh, "Hey, you know, if you try to help that person, they're going to die, and then you're going to just feed." And it ha ended up not working out like that. But I think that's still the play. Um, I mean, right there, we can watch that again. But that was just Soren. Um, that was just Soren getting jumped. You know. Like, I just went to, to paint, soldier knew where he was, I just kind of started shooting once I noticed them. That doesn't really improve any of our our case. Um, let's see what happens here. I'm not sure why I backed up. What, what were the callouts there? A top mid T-Tech, so I didn't want to die to, to the T-Tech. Back up. Get it once, got it, got it. Nice They're pushing me hard. So it gets called out that some people died. I try to go after this booyah bomb. I almost oh, get it so too. Weird. Does it get cleaned up? Nice bomb. Heavy's in the far back. Left, uh -uh. left, 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 uh -uh. left, left. So at the time there, I did think that uh, I could do enough to, to get him killed. Uh, just because like, I was going up the conveyor belt and it's like, oh fuck, I'm committed, might as well. I'll uh, just shoot at him. Didn't work out. Ah, uh, uh, there. Get stuck. And then we basically get wiped here. So this is bad. Towards armor. I can't. Ugh, my bad. It's okay. Pro's left side. Left conveyor. I also want to mention yeah. that uh, playing with this particular group of people was really fun. Like, 
Uh, just like comms, like Kiri, Ice, yeah. Soldier, and I, I think that you ready for armor? like nobody was tilting. Yeah. We were all like having fun Shaking and like being supportive of each other and stuff like that. I just want to throw that out there while there was nothing really happening because I, I think that we had a lot of chemistry lot and There's everybody three. having a positive I attitude I can't really, really contributed to behind, towards right? us uh, towards us doing well. So this is the end of the game. One more going top on the on top mid. Yeah, top mid gets called. Right. I try to challenge it. Um, we need to get left. Get mid control. Get mid control. There's a pro near me. I see the pro. Oh, what? I top. Oh. Get armor. Yeah. Oh, this bad. And yeah, the, we we just get we get put in the specials. I get the armor too late, and then that's gonna be the game. What's that stuck on the floor? I think I need a teammate to help you. Are you talking about with the booyah bomb? Yeah. Yeah. I just went for it because like I thought it might happen. Um, it was kind of a split second decision. And yeah, Carl's right there. That that definitely went way better than um. Why is it showing me Game of Thrones stuff? That definitely went way better than, um, uh, way better than the first time around. We just didn't get a good push going. We only got, like, one real push, and then it was just, like, a big grind. But I think that we were playing evenly. Um, it didn't exactly, uh, it didn't exactly... How do I say? I, I didn't like really like carry or tear it up or anything like that. Like I have in some scrims with this thing, but I think that the few times that we got into fights, that everything that I wanted it to do happened. So I like it felt. That's the way it felt at the time. It felt like I picked the ends up for a reason. Oh, what was the question? Academy 20, how are we going to get into the games ourselves? You have to find some on the other team, yes. Um, so basically on the website, um, on the Smash GG website, there's a little tab that says find matches here. You click on that, and then there's a button that says find matches. Once the tournament starts, um, that it, you, you click that, someone else who clicked that who's you know doing similar to you as far as like wins and losses in the tournament, when they hit it at the same time, it will um, you know, you, you guys will match each other. It's sort of like league. You know, like league when you when you guys play league or like rank matches or something. Um, yeah, so that's how that works. So yeah, so at the time I, I picked the ends up for a reason. The first, uh, the reason was that I thought that I could win more one on ones uh, using the 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 run speed and resist um, paint under my feet kind of uh, abuse, and I think that worked. The other reasons that I picked it were. A, I think I thought we needed armor for that game mode based on the first time, and I thought we needed more lethal bombs uh, for the pushes. Uh, we only really got one push going. During that push, I did get the armor off, and I did get the bombs off. Um, we got, you know, outplayed. They're, they're better than us, but, you know, it, it did, so it did that. So it, it, it used its kit properly. It got a lot of paint. Um, ooh, let's real quick look again. I, I'm not going to bring it up. I'm just going to count how many armors. So I got seven armors and Sendal got six armors. So I actually out armored Sendal. So I got more armors than the Kensa. One of the best Kensas in the West, for sure. Um and we both um I got a KA of twelve, he got a KA of eight. Uh you can argue that his his torpedoes were doing more than my suctions. Um but we chose the suction specifically for the push. Um, so I think that, like, I've said it a couple times, and just to nail it down, I think that the NZAP did everything that it was supposed to. Everything that I chose the NZAP for, it did. Right? So, the question is not, can the NZAP do what I want it to do? I think that with the scrims that I've played with this, and that match, I think that I can say with confidence that the NZAP does what I pick it for. The question is, do I want that, right? Do I want that kind of stuff above the Kensa Undercover? Do I want it above, um, you know, like a 96 or an H3, you know? Um, I'm not really the kind of player for H3. I can definitely play 96. I can definitely play Kunder. I like Kunder. Um, so there's a lot of stuff going on. I think, and also to remember, this video was of us losing, and I'm trying to show it. I'm trying... 
I'm not trying to like show a scrim where I just go off and beat a bunch of people and it's it's just a scrim and maybe they're not playing that well. Like this is like you know this is Ghost is the best team of the game. This is grand finals of a tournament. Um, this is putting it under a lot of pressure. Does it still? If you're in a bad position and the weapon that you're and the 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 strategy that you're using is still doing the things that it's supposed to do, that's when you know it's working. And I think that that. I think that we proved that with this video. Um, so again, the question is, do we want to? And I think, I think that it's worth keeping this build around and you know staying warm with NZAP, just so that I can do this again. Uh, times that I'd want to use this when there are certain weapons that I think NZAP can fight well, uh, they're giving us problems. Where I think that you know having the movement in their face and not having to worry about enemy ink would be a good idea. Um, I think that, you know, if I just need to play an armor weapon, I can choose this instead of Kunder. And I think that um, I'm good with it. So that makes it even more of an option for me. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, you have to have your friend code. You have to give your friend code when you sign up. Um, but yeah, like, so when you hit find match, this is, whatever, I'm, I'm gonna end the episode kind of after explaining this, but, uh, the way, you know, Smash GG and Battlefy and stuff like that works, um, you got, well, in this particular case, you both click the find match button, in normal tournaments it just tells you who you're fighting, um, you both hit the find match button, then you hit a check-in button saying, like, yeah, I'm ready to play, uh, and then it puts you in a little chat where it's, like, it's you guys on your team and the other guys on the other team, it shows your friend codes at the top, and it's like, hey, you know, everybody, uh, you, uh Staff will be there also to be you know help you out, but it's like hey you know here's my friend code here's your friend code let's add each other we all get to the private battle um, and then you play the maps and modes that you're told to in this tournament there's a map list chat in academy um, that says hey you know you play random maps the first game splat zones the second game's TC the third game's Rainmaker if I can remember properly and uh, you play random maps and you just um, I can real quick show you every time you pick a uh, map. Every time you play a map, you go back and you get it off the random. No clams today. Um, we're not sure exactly how we're going to handle maps in the future. Because there's no rounds, so it's like we can't make a map list. A traditional map list, there's things that we can do. So, alright, so let's say, you know, you play Splat Zones. And you, you pick random select. And the map that gets chosen, I don't know, is, is Sturgeon, right? So you play Splat Zones on Sturgeon because that's what the random map generator gave you. Afterwards, you go over here. You press the right bumper it puts that little that little no sign on there and then you go back to random again now it's going to pick another random map for tower control um and you play it out let's say that this time it gives you i don't know goby you know so you play random you play your tower control on goby and then you know after that okay we played goby so we're going to hit the the right bumper again to put the little thing on there, and you can tell it worked because now we're down to 21 maps. And you do it a third time, and you just make sure that either you you close the lobby, or you get rid of the uh, the little X's uh, when you are uh, when you're done for the next game. Uh, and that's something that you do have to to, to watch out for. So yeah, um, it's best of three. It, the entire thing is best of three. So. Yeah, um, thanks guys for watching. Uh, like I said, this is going to be a short one. It ended up being a half hour. So we, we watched the same game for a half hour and talked about it. So, well, actually, no, because it was like five minutes of, uh, of AFK before the, the stream started. So, but yeah, um, to, to conclude, I think that the NZAP is worth um, pursuing. I'm not going to use it that often, but I'm going to practice it and kind of keep it uh, in my toolbox. That way I can choose it when it's needed. And. Yeah, guys. Uh, thanks for thanks for watching, and I will um, obviously be to in the tournament today. When this goes on YouTube, you probably you may or may not see it until before or after the tournament. Hopefully, you guys played, and uh, yeah, I'll see you later, guys. So uh, so peace. I'm gonna find someone to host, and uh, and y'all have a nice one.